or the different classes. I'm gonna post a whole bunch of videos on each class and you're gonna see. I'll try to explain it if I can, but. Okay, the final boss here is gonna be Seraph the Temperance, the end is near. This incarnation of Hell's greatest foe will temper the strength of your units. Only the truly determined can survive. So we have Feast, trigger feeding on morsel units. Wait, so you can, wait a minute, you can feed right then and there and keep stacking up. That's quite interesting. We have two stings and then we have mind collapse. Deal 3x damage to an enemy unit and if it kills you gain energy back. That's exactly what we needed. We needed something to attack the back row and give us energy back. Alright, so let's take out the artifact first before we decide what we upgrade. Mind jacks plus two pips on the middle floor. Guys, I don't know about you, but that sounds really freaking good. That is just a lot of tempo. Think of runic capacitor. Instead of having orb slots, we have unit slots, and we can start using that to our advantage. That sounds good. And let's upgrade our champion. Matter of fact, we're making it monstrous because we already have middle floor space. Why not? And I also, I just like the concept of monstrous. I wanted to like try to see how big he can actually get. Non-boss enemy units enter with spikes three. Now that's a little bit risky this early on, but my penumbra is beefy, so let's do it. I I personally feel like I like the glutton uh, way to play because obviously I like to gorge, but I also want to see how big this guy's gonna get. So we can deal some damage with enemy units. So let's say we put this guy on top, right? And let's say we feed this guy, give him some strength. Right. Put this guy in the back. If he's dead, get energy back. Now I can trigger the feed now. Cause why not? <laughs> and let's go. Sting the girl in the back. Oh, it's trample, so he they're both dead. Easy. Get the top. Draw some cards next turn. And let's restore. Gorgeous. We gotta be careful with the spikes. That's the biggest thing for us. See, this is the time where I wanted... So, my, I can put my guy in front just to tank it some damage. Because I don't, I don't want my guy to take all the spikes, you know? And then we're gonna add a morsel to the back. And we're gonna give him some regen. This is where I want mind collapse so I can get energy and play more cards. This alien looking thing is my champion. It's Penumbra and he's a monstrous dude. Alright, feed, feed, feed. It'll give you uh, some some damage. I gotta be careful because this guy has a lot of life and I don't have that much damage just yet. So you gotta heal up a little bit. And I gotta find a way to kill the guy in the back. Oh, we don't have the kill just yet. So, what I'm gonna have to do is add a muscle to the front. So here's what we do. We kill this guy. Wait, add a muscle to the front. Okay. Then add a strange sword to the front. And now we win. Kill this guy. And GG. Man, that middle jack has gotten me so much space in the, mi in the middle floor. I can do so much so early. It's crazy. And it's the first time I took Retribution early and got the 50 gold. This is going to be a run where we take every single trial. Every single trial. And here we have this, class, uh, this card again, which I really like. Uh, consume plus one pip on this floor. And what we did last game was we got rid of the consume so we can keep playing that. Uh, we're not probably not going to get so lucky to do that again, but I did like that concept. Then we have Ensumbra Assault. Deal 3 damage. If it kills something, you add 2 uncommon or rare motion units to your hand. I kind of like this as well. It's another targeted uh, kind of damage to hit backlanders or stuff that you might want to kill. And then you get some more morsels. But I have things like Mind Collapse already to do that for me, so I'm going to take Space Prison. The second Covenant rank gives you a Senator's Bane. Can you believe that, right? This game is crazy. Give a unit plus four strength and plus four spikes. I think I just, if I keep enhancing my big dude with more strength, because he has Trample, it, only good things could happen, right? I'm doing it. So forge your spells to gain new powers or forge my units. I don't have any units right now to forge, so what... I do like the Umbra units, let's be honest. They have Morsel Makers and all these crazy scaling things. But I also want to upgrade my spells, such as potentially Sharpen or Feast or maybe even Space Prism. 
So I'm, I'm maybe more privy to doing magic here, but I do like the penumbra units. I can do the penumbra units, I guess, on the next floor. So let's go ahead and do magic right now. Look, and now you can get rid of consume. Now, I don't know how good this actually is, but man, getting rid of consume on this feels nice. All right, it feels nice. And we can make something cheaper. Let's make the sharpen cheaper. And then we can make something like, hey, instead of you sticking around, we can have you get out of my life. So once you use it, it's like a big time damage and then it's out of the game. But sure, I'll do that on this thing. Let's go ahead and remove already some of these cards we don't care about, like the train stewards. And let's get a unit. Multi-strike Animus Will. This is pretty good to put in behind of my dude. A big multi-striker. And I could feed this, to be honest. I could feed this with morsels. And this thing does three multi-strikes. That's kind of nuts, guys. If you give it strength, that's going to be a big, beefy dude. I mean, by big, beefy, I mean a lot of damage. Oh, I'm excited about that one. At the start of battle, enemies appear on each floor. Like, give me that gold. Let's do it. Every trial, no problem. Easy challenge. All right, well, I'm just going to ignore most of this. I'm going to take some damage to the face. It's fine. We're going to put Penumbra. Well, Penumbra doesn't want to go here. And Penumbra doesn't want to go here. Well, to be honest, well, this is, this is fucked. So what's going to happen is this. Penumbra goes here. And... And uh, we're going to have to do, like, some spikes already. And do some restore. And uh, we're going to take some pyre damage. It's okay. So morsels are used by eating by the dude that are in the front. Sinner's Burden. Once play this card is removed from your deck for the rest of the run. Why did I get Sinner's Burden? Ah, add a Sinner Burden's card to the top of your pile. It's the first time I've seen that. Let's slay that guy. Sting. Sting. And get out. Give me that gold. I'm gonna get a nice 50 gold. All right, we want to just do some scaling, so let's add some morsels. Give this guy energy next turn. Why not? And what's feast is interesting, sorry. So rubble morsels, when they eat them, you gain energy. So if you do feast, you can get energy on this turn. Something interesting to think about. I get to do a little bit more damage. That's all. Right now we can play this and get rid of the burden. And All right, our guy's nice and beefy. We still have to play our other units, though. So we want to play our... Our Animus. Our Animus is not played at all yet. That's a little bit unfortunate. Yo, Legend Killer with the Twitch Prime. Thank you for Twitch Prime, buddy. First sub of the day. Welcome, welcome, man. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Guys, five daily subs is the goal. That's, if you think about it, five daily subs is not a lot. Not a lot. You guys, can check if you have Twitch Prime right now available. What's up, Wizard of Boss? How you doing? Alright, so one problem is that we're dying. So what we need to do, guys, is put some muscles in front to take the damage. And we need to put Animus and Will in the back, alright? Animus needs to do in the back, do some damage. Add some morsels in the front to take some damage. Okay. And add another morsel in the front to take more damage. And with that, we should be able to win. Except the problem that I just realized is this guy's killing one of the morsels, so that second morsel didn't actually do anything. But we should be able to win. We should be able to win anyways. Or maybe not. Maybe we're just dead. Oopsies. Maybe I already fucked up. It's okay. We take a little bit of damage. Um, it's okay. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is like a scaling class, alright? I need to just scale up a little bit. I'm a little bit weak early on and then, uh, maybe I just suck. I don't know. Quiet Kowski with the Twitch Prime. Six months. Hey, two out of the five. Let's go, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Once we get some units and once we get some stuff, guys, we also keep in mind we're doing trials and all that good stuff. So, uh, let's get some units now and we'll, we'll start not taking as much damage. 
Okay, so we get add three uncommon or rare emotions to your hand. Or one rare, rather. Deal three damage, add, or add a morsel minor. I like this. Morsel minor is one eating, gets five five. That's pretty good. Five five is nice. Enhance the unit with plus five, plus eight strength and minus two uh, max HP. You put that on our multi hitter, and the multi hitter is going nuts. The only problem is the multi hitter does not have that much life to lose. But if you combine it with something that gives it HP, well, then the multi hitter becomes quite insane. Does it not? Here's the thing. Restoration Detonation could be useful because I have a Penumbra which has a lot of max HP. So there are times where I could heal my Penumbra for quite a bit and do some damage as well. But I think since we have a multi-hitter that has three strikes, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's upgrade our units and let's also... Maybe we should heal because we did take a lot of damage. And to be honest, I want to upgrade spells like the... Razor Sharp Edge or the... Um... Nah, let's, take, let's upgrade our, our units. Let's, let's go get a Penumbra unit and let's upgrade our units. Uh, so when this heals, this gains lifesteal. So when a unit with lifesteal attacks, it restores health equal to the damage dealt. Or Morsel Maker. We love this. This, at the end of combat, summons an Antumbra Morsel and a Magma Morsel, which is plus 5 health. Sorry, plus 4 health and plus 4 attack. So this just helps you scale up a unit in the top row or whatever row you choose, which is quite good. Put that on the Animus, and that's quite nice. Before I upgrade my units, I'm going to go to the Concealed Caverns and see what it is offering me. Now, this is a duplicate card. I'm probably going to feel kind of salty. Alright, they want me to take a real spike. Well, kill a morsel unit, trigger eating and gorge abilities as if it had been eating 2x times. That sounds nuts. Let me explain why. I have a unit called Morsel Miner. Morsel Miner gives you plus 4, plus 4, right? Or like plus 5, plus 5. That could be a quick way to scale quite fast. Absolutely. After quite some effort, you remove the spike from the stone. Its original power is still evident from the glowing runes. With this ancient piece of the covenant now in hand, you head back your way. This is going to be fun, guys. I want to try to save that with Morsel Miner. In fact, I want to upgrade that spell to have Permafrost so I can hold on to it when it's ready. Give a unit plus 6 strength. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Animus of Will plus 6 strength, that's not bad. And you know what? Give Animus health as well. So now this Animus is 9 times 3 and 18 life. Give a unit quick. I don't need to add quick to a unit. So what I am going to do is remove one more steward. Who wants quick? You think quick is better on Animus? Well, the thing is... You think... I'd rather have Animus in the back anyways, right? I mean, Quick is a very good stat, let's be real. Quick with damage, but just does all his damage right away. I guess you're right. I like putting her back lane, though, and having her with the uh, more HP. So she doesn't die to spikes. That's my philosophy. Quick means the attack first. So normally the enemies attack first, but if Quick, if you attack first and kill them, then you take no damage, right? So we're going to set up in the mid lane here. Let's uh, put the steward so it takes damage. And let's put Morsel Maker in the top. Well, I guess I could put this Morsel Maker here. Start scaling up the Morsel Maker up here. And maybe I can start scaling up Animus. So now this is a good situation like... Okay. If I gave Animus quick, then... Then putting it in the front row would have made sense. So that's that's my bad. Everything seems busted? No, I wouldn't say the game's busted. Well, I mean, here's the thing. That was like a... A quick introduction. There are some things that maybe the game could work on, but the um Wait before let's keep this guy alive. So let's go ahead and do uh let's do let's do this. Kill this. Let's give this guy some more strength. And let's give him some more energy next turn. They're going to probably keep balancing the game, because the game is still kind of early, and I was going to say that the game goes up to Covenant rank 25. So keep in mind, when I played Slay the Spire, I played on such a 20. Now imagine me playing Slay the Spire for the first time on a sense of zero, or like, so I have a lot of experience in these kind of games. I mean, let me talk about the game in general, I, I see what you mean. 
I think that once we get to rank 25, the game's gonna be more balanced. And I'm gonna wait till I get to a company at rank 25 before I make any just balance, uh, any balance talks. I wanted this guy to not kill me, so I'm gonna trigger my feed now to keep my guy alive. And just add a morsel miner. How do I keep my guy alive here? Uh, I'm taking 8 damage. Taking 10 damage, so. Ah, uh, fuck. If I put this guy in front, do I still die? I still die. Fuck! I'm already losing, boys. Fuck. How can I kill the bomb with Sharpen, though? So this would have been a good way, honestly. Keep him alive. This would have been a good time to have quick on my animus, because I think my animus is not going to stay alive long. So quick would have been quite nice. My animus is quite, like, beefy, but okay, this is interesting. Trigger this as if I'm eating six times, so I gain a lot of life. If I do this, I gain, I gain 24 life, and that keeps my guy alive. I gained 24 life. Right? I need some more healing. I absolutely. 24 life is pretty useful. But I also want to be able to do train steward. I want train steward to block in the front. The train steward blocks in the front, but train steward can block for eight. So I can block these three hits and then I can heal everything else. So maybe just doing Feast and Train Stewart in the front is better. I mean, that was a good time to like, uh, I guess, do the Shroud. And once the boss comes, it's going to be tough, guys. My penumbra has died. But you got more so minor. I want more so minor to stay in my hand so I can do the, the shroud on it. Let's try to keep this guy as beefy as possible. Because this guy has, what, 9 damage? I need to heal up quite a bit to get to 9 damage here. If I get spikes, I can do so much damage that it won't even matter. Is spikes better? I mean, is the enhance better for strength or keeping this guy healthy? I think keeping this guy healthy is more important. Because I need this guy to take at least, like... In order to get lethal, I need this guy to take at least um, at least three hits. Okay. I'm not even taking advantage of my mind jack in the middle, which is quite unfortunate. All right, well we win, boys. We did it. We did it because we can take at least three hits, like I said. And while we while we're at it, we can do a quick little shroud right here. Boom, keeping that health. Gorgeous. I have not unlocked Overgorger yet. Nope. My animus is doing work. Boom. It'd be cool to get the artifact to give me an extra upgrade slot, and I can upgrade my animus even further. All right. Choose a rare card. Spikes on friendly units deal two plus two damage per stack. This is a shard channeler. Spreading spores. Apply two region and two spikes. Add a copy of this to your discard pile or cycle of life. Enhance unit with plus ten health. I think plus ten health is pretty good. I like that card a lot. When you summon a morsel unit, create a copy. Whoa, we put that on the floor. We can now can create copies of the morsels we're creating. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. 
When this gorges, it also gains damage. I think this is also potentially broken. Because... You just put this with the Morsel Maker and it just gains infinite damage shields. Like, honestly, I think this is pretty... This is pretty broken. Let's say we put the Animus in the back with the Penumbra. And we put this guy in the top of the Morsel Maker. He just gains damage shields. The problem with him, he doesn't do enough damage, so... He doesn't actually kill things quick enough. Whereas the Animus can kill things, because she does three attacks. Bam, 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 bam. But that means they have to get to the middle floor first. So the middle floor is going to be my kill floor with Penumbra and Morsel uh, and Animus. And this guy's going to be at the top with a damage shield going scaling infinitely. So if the boss happens to come up here, well then he's going to have to get through this. But this is kind of interesting though. When you summon a Morsel unit, you create a copy so you can scale up twice as fast. This is very good for your boss. I'm going to do it for the boss. Animus' speed, I didn't think it was that interesting. I don't need like a quick low health unit, I don't think. Add more energy or add more pips per floor. I mean, so we don't really have a way to gain energy so far. There's, there are artifacts in this game to give us energy. Adding pips per floor allow me to do more morsels, but the thing is I need energy to play more cards. And I have cards that are X cost, so having a little bit more energy sometimes would help with things like my mind collapse. So I think I'm going to go for the energy here. You can upgrade Animus' speed and give it some nice stats, so it has quick, and then you can upgrade it to make it even beefier. So we can go for Artifacts and Removal, plus with a Wilkin unit, or we can go for Duplicate, Coins, and some Pyre Health. So what would we duplicate? Is there a world where we ever duplicate our Animus? She's a 9318 multi-strike. Did we ever just duplicate her? What does this deck want to do? Does it want to do more Morsel so Miner stuff? Duplicates get the upgrades, absolutely. Do we want to upgrade multiple, duplicate this? Do we want to duplicate maybe Morsel so Maker and have double Morsel so Maker? That seems kind of broken. We have two Morsel so Makers. They only take up one space. Put two Morsel so Makers on the top row. This guy's getting damage shields for days. Morsel so Maker seems like a broken unit, to be honest, in combination with something like this. This is a very good Aminus to dupe. I agree. But now I don't have artifacts or removal. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. I'm going to go duplicate my, my Animus, though. I agree with you. I think she's a strong enough unit. I'm going to do it. Yeah. All right, Penumbra's going to get even more monstrous. Monstrous level 2. More so major over more so minor. <laughs> I like it. I like it. non boss enemies restore our health when they move up the floor. That's fine. I'm going to get a random artifact. I do so much damage. I'm not too worried about them restoring up to full life. Morsel Makers can alone can overstock the floor. Really? Go for destroying to stream. You can tell me your chat box dimensions and font size. We're having trouble setting that up. Uh, I kind of just wing it. I kind of just wing it, man. I kind of just edit it and wing it. Whatever looks right. I don't, I don't have like a specific thing. That's good on her, man. I hope she, I hope she finds success. His gorge effects. His gorge effect. He gains the strength and and uh, health. Hiding prime milk. But I mean, I'll try to help you more a little bit later. I'll try to help you a little, a little bit more later. Let's give this girl lots of damage. If you put the Crucible Warden in the bottom... Because I don't actually have a, enough space for Crucible Warden at the moment. They're doing 6 damage. Keep my guy alive. The Chris Rewarder, it can't fit in the top floor right now. Yeah, I can keep instantly scaling him with this guy, but I think on these on these floors, I can just put Animus and scale her up and just win, because these are not that hard so far. But later on, I'm going to want to do things like damage shield scaling with the, uh, on like harder levels, but right now, I don't, I don't need that. Let's add some morsels over here. 
The Eater gains... Oh, I got a nice one, a rare one. The Eater gains a damage shield and plus one, plus one. Let's do this, because I can keep it alive, right? Just keep my guy alive. I know it's a rare morsel, I just got killed. Unfortunately, I got killed a rare morsel, but I'm just trying to keep my units alive. Besides, the damage shield's not that good right now for a lot of these things. I'd rather keep my units alive. Remember, these guys do heal the fool, but they're never going to get by my Animus. My Animus is a beefy... Not beefy, but a very strong lady. This does 12 damage, so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this. This is 9 damage. Let's go ahead and put this... Keep this guy alive a little bit. And then we can kill 6 damage right here. Let's make play... Uh, restore. And just do that. I mean, doing that right there doesn't make any sense because they're going to die anyways. Final wave. Let's go ahead and do some. Uh, if you do triggering on some of these units, we can keep my guy alive a little bit longer. You can also do a morsel minor and shroud. You guys want to do morsel minor and shroud? Check this out. We add a morsel minor, and then we do shroud on it. It's gonna gain a lot of damage and health. And we also can try to keep alive my dude because they're doing what ten, and then one one. Um, unfortunately, I can't keep my guy alive. Well, I can. I can make it so that he does a little bit, a little bit longer. I actually do less damage overall. Oopsies. That was stupid. I should have done more feast on that guy. But if I feast him now, then he gets another damage shield, which is probably better. I should have done that feast first, and then I would have got one more energy for the spike. Again, I'm making order mistakes, but we're learning. We're learning. Whoopsies. Oh, these guys are going to heal the full when they go up, right? Or it's only non-boss units, right? Okay. Let's put an animus in the back. To get some damage in. That does a lot of work. And let's not take so much higher damage. Can we do it? Boom. We did it. GG. Boom. 65, 65, 65. 69, 69, 69. Damn, she is a beast. She is a beast. Oh, I love Winged Indulgence. This is very good. This is so worth it. All enemies get minus one strength. That, like, that little thing right there is so good. Deal 30x damage to the front enemy unit, or excavation eruption. Deal 20 damage to a random enemy unit four times. If it kills, you gain it two energy back. Apply damage to the one to friendly units. Add three uncommon or rare morsel units to your hand. Huh. Forever consumes. It's just like a, a targeted damage, which could be useful. I'm not sure what I want here. I kind of want to keep the deck smaller and cleaner, right? But some of these cards are pretty decent. Hydration, let's get some water. All right, I'm not sure what I want here. I'm not sure what I want here. These are not that great. I guess, I guess Forever Consumed is the best. Is it Eradicate Stealth? Uh, no. I mean, Stealth is on that boss. I mean, Forever Consumed is like, probably like a nice one of to have, but everything else is not that great. Descend a unit, add stings, or apply rooted. Applying rooted and draw one. What's up, Gabriel? How you doing, buddy? I'm probably going to skip here. If I could add quick to Animus, will I? Yeah, I will. Like, retroactively, I will add quick. I would need to get another upgrade slot, so. I mean, the ability to descend a unit is quite useful. Because um, you can overstack things, you can also descend an enemy unit just to buy some more time. I mean, I guess Rooted does the same thing. Rooted could um could also buy some time, which is not bad at all. Like having things to buy time is is useful to have. The deck is getting kind of fat though. I mean, descending, I can put the my monstrous unit in the middle and then bring them down. 
to the bottom floor. So I think restoring retreat could be useful for Penumbra in particular. And then we can start stacking the middle floor because it already has space with other things. Duplicate, remove gold or upgrade units and get health. Well, there's also a cavern here. In my opinion, what would I duplicate again? My, a lot of my things don't have that many upgrades. I can upgrade the space prism because, like I said, we actually... We can duplicate the space prism because we upgraded to remove consume. And this is a pretty good card. It adds space. And we can duplicate that card. And we can start removing some of these cards. Like, let's say we can remove... At this point, maybe remove one restore. And maybe at this point, remove one shade splitter. Actually... I kind of like the Shade Splitter. Uh, Shade Splitter's going to be worse as it comes on. Dupe the shot. Dupe the maker. We can dupe the maker, right? So we can have the double makers. Double makers would be kind of interesting. I need space for that. Yeah, I like this game a lot. It's really fun, Lug. But I, when will you add other stuff to do with channel points? I, as, as I think of it. I just got to think of it, you know? If you guys have any ideas for channel points, let me know. and I, got, I can see if I can add it. Oh, can I undo? I thought that was the remove. I thought that was remove. Keck W. Keck W. sucks i'll slow down let me slow down a little bit okay enemies enter with armor we get 150 coins well let's take a look these guys have five strength and 90 uh, health this guy has two strength and one health but when it dies it gives two strength to all friendly units and that's gonna have 10 armor and then okay um 150 coins is pretty good. Well, now I kind of need the coins because I just duplicated a random restore only to remove it. So I'm down or duplicate. Not the worst thing in the world. Is how dangerous is 10 armor? I'm doing it. What, what, I duplicated a random card because I thought it was removed. It's okay. What will be the price of the game when it's released? I do not know. I should probably ask the lady. You know what? I'll do that right now. Let me ask. So people, I can answer that question for people. Let me ask her. Let's see if she responds. Have we tried the archetype depth? I haven't tried archetype yet. Nope, I have not. I have not tried it yet. All right, let's put Penumbra in the middle. Let's give my Crisper Ward in the top. He's gonna scale up with damage shields. Nice, nice early start. I like this. Give this guy spikes. And uh, not much I could do with this turn. Let's go ahead and pass. I can imagine between fifteen and twenty-five dollars. I agree. That's what I can imagine. So let's go ahead and put our animus here. Does our animus die? We can put our, we can put one animus here. She doesn't die. We can put a morsel make over here, scaling my guy up. I could do a little restore, and I could do this. And why not? And alrighty. Can you get better for you on your phone somehow? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I do. I have early access. I do. Yes. 
So I'm taking 9 damage exactly. Let's try to take less damage. So I could descend my own unit and give it some strength. Give it some health, right? And then I could also give it some strength so it does more damage. Interesting. We can put this in the front so she takes less damage because I don't really care about my steward in begin to begin with. And none of my guys are dying. This guy's going to end up going through to my pyre, unfortunately. And that's just the price of the armor. Because they have armor, they're, a they're, they're able to go into my pyre and do some damage. But I only take a little bit of damage. It's okay. Put my transfer just to sacrifice. There's a world where I bring my guy down. I have to send my penumbra down. I'm going to try to keep this guy alive a little bit longer. Because she is a nice bit of damage. This has 12 damage. I can get 2 energy back. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Go that. And then can I keep anything alive? Do I need to do anything? This guy's gonna go to the top. Alright. Let's try to add some space prism here. Let's try scaling up. Maybe 30 damage to that guy. It wouldn't help at all. Do 30 damage to that guy, that would help a little bit. 30 damage to that guy, that would help a little bit. Alright, my guy's getting damage shields. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, brief rest fight. So let's try to give our guy cycle life on her. I mean, she's like one of my big damages. Because if you notice, this guy doesn't... He has damage shields, but he doesn't do that much damage. So I, don't, I think scaling him is a little bit monka s in that sense. So maybe let's try to scale her a little bit somehow. But... Let's see. What does this do? Give it a damage shield? Why not? Let's give her a damage shield. And if you notice, I actually wasn't... I didn't actually get to do that much damage shield on my guy at the top anyways. Because it takes a little bit more effort to get... To get. She's doing a little bit of damage. Let's see if I can try to keep her alive a little bit. So this guy does 7 per attack, right? And I have 23 life, so I take 3 attacks. Now, if I give her 29 life, or I could try to keep her alive a little longer, for instance, I can put a morsel on top. Let's put this here. Let's put a morsel here, just to take one. She needs to be able to take one more, so if I do descend, she should take a little bit more life, right? Ah, because no, he has sweep. Doesn't do anything. Ah, uh, that was my bad. That was my bad, guys. He has sweep. That was a waste of turn. I should uh, I shouldn't have cycle of life because he has sweep. Um, I thought I can take one hit. If I take one hit, I can, she stays alive for one more round. But yeah, with sweep that doesn't work. So that's just a mistake. He has sweep again. So, but I think I can put animus in the back. I can put animus in the back here, yeah, because he has damage shields. And maybe we can scale her up in the back here. Might as well put this in the back right here. Alright, and let's hope that uh, we keep forging up here. This guy gets some damage shields. And with the animus in the back, maybe we can get it, get the damage required. Beautiful. We have lethal. Let's do 120 damage. And it's GG. We can go ahead and feast right now. 8 damage shields, not bad. Just realized. The bad guys are playing the game and slay the pyre right now. Absolutely. Okay. Got 150 gold for that. Not bad. Sacrifice. Kill a friendly unit to play this card. Add three random uncommon or rare morsels to your hand. Apply damage shield to rage six and ember drain three. Interesting. So we can put this on a morsel and the morsel will gain like 12 damage they will be able to block two hits and then since ember drain makes you lose three energy in the following turn well if it dies because it gets eaten well then you don't get the downside so the plus side of void binding is like you can use this to tank up two hits and also do 12 damage from retaliation so this is a good way to keep your units alive by doing um a tricky little damage shields and rage on your little morsels i, I like void binding 
restore units to full health, I'll do that. My deck is getting very fat though. But having the ability to restore units to full health is quite good. Upgrade my spells and remove two cards. Let's not screw up anything this time. Let's go to the trinket shop. We have quite a bit of gold. Let's go to the merchant trinkets and let's go and see what the cavern has to offer. And I also get an artifact here. At the start of battle, summon four random units from the t from your deck on the middle floor. Interesting. Or cursed vines, fifty percent chance to swap the front and back enemy units when they enter your train. Now this is kind of nuts. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Manus. So I think cursed vines is pretty good because it can take some of the ba weak backliners and put it in the front and make it easier to kill. And especially if you have trample, because you can just kill through them and still hit the guys in the back, which are the big tanks. But this sounds kind of hilarious, because you just take four units and just put them right in the middle floor, smack in the middle. I don't know how good that actually is, to just summon four units right in the beginning of the battle. I could start scaling right away though, right? So let's say my units are only Morsel Makers and like Crucibles or whatever. You can start the scaling right away. But it's a little bit uh, RNG, right? I think Curse Finds... Something I'm gonna take the first vines here. Let's see what concealed caverns has first, and then we're gonna go to the trinket shop. Prismatic vibes. A penance yard comes into view. A truly terrible sight. Dead hellborn from across the nine rings of hell are strung up as atonement, just for existing. At the base of these awful contraptions are some familiar blights. But peeking through, you can see something of value underneath the rubble. Which pile do you expect further? We can gain ember stasis. You gain three calcified embers. Playing a blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. Massive stones. When summoned, friendly units get plus one strength for every blight card in your deck. And I'm going to gain three new dead weights. So I'm going to have four dead weights. So every unit is going to have plus four strength. That's like, uh, we call this, what's that called? Cursed Duvudol. This is Duvudol. When you play your first Blight card each turn, restore 5 Pyre Health, and then you also gain 3 Vengeful Shards. So, now I'm curious. You know how with Calcified Ember, if you keep them in your deck, they, they upgrade into cash? Does this still apply for this event? So if I take 3 Calcified Ember here, will they still upgrade later on, or is that only specific to that event that makes them upgrade? I don't know how worth it it is to have four dead weights in my deck, but every time I summon, I have a plus four strength for every unit. Yes, the uh, the morsels do gain gain the strength as well. The morsels do gain the strength, so I'm gonna have four dead weights, but everything's gonna get four strength. But four dead weights is quite a bit. But my deck is fat enough, like maybe four dead weights don't hurt me as much. I mean, I don't know. Four curses in a deck is quite hefty, huh? This could be a way to uh, to sustain my pyre, though. This is like sustain relic. So whenever you play these, you just get sustain. All right, let's try this. Let's try going for the cursed route, the weathered penitent remains, or whatever. And let's see where the trinkets are. Power gets 40 health. Friendly units enter with 2 life steal. So when a unit with life steal attacks, it restores health equal to damage dealt. And root split mask. Apply rooted to the enemies when they enter the... F I love this. I think root split mask is really good. I like the ability to have units to have life steal. I think I'm going to save the rest of my money. Let's go on. Fell the wings of light. The fell in her eyes will add scorch cards to your deck. Okay. Now remember, I could have had the ability to have random units summoned in the middle floor, but I went for Curse Vines instead. Which is useful for this floor because I can put some of the units in the front. Because you see how these big statues are tanking? With Curse Vines, I can put some of these guys in the back towards the front. Oh, that's quite nice. Put the Curse Reward up top. Let's get this out of the deck, and let's do that. Boom, boom, boom. I meant to do it on that. Whoopsies. Well, my units have plus four strength already, which is quite nice. It makes a difference. Oh, it switched to Rue. Huh? What a switcheroo. 
Beautiful. Put this in the back. They're gonna, they're gonna have trouble getting past that floor. Void binding. Well, Ember Drain's a little bit rough right now. Let's go ahead and kill. Start working on killing this dude right here. Although it's not gonna be. I guess it's like, I'm gonna put some units in the bottom eventually. Yeah. Nice. I want to get my Mortal Maker played, but I also don't want to. Uh, well, this is too important to play. So I, I take fire damage here because Mortal Maker is too important to play right now. That's, I can start scaling up my damage shield. This is a very good fight to scale up damage shield because they don't have any threats in the top row. They're not making to the top row. And they also get rooted when they come here or whatever. So he's just going to get damage shields constantly. And that's going to be quite nice. He's going to be last Bastion of Defense. I can put Animus of Will down here. And, uh, we could... What, 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 what would need to be healed to the full? She has Life Soul, so she heals the full here. I want to add a Motion Miner, but where do I fit it? I can put a Motion Miner on here, so she gets that stats. So now she gets a lot of stats off of that. Get this out of the deck. And GG. Let's wait. I guess we could do cons I guess we could do that right there. Oh, this does have multi strike. Damn, and it's a lifestyle is quite nice. Dude, refined void is pretty good. So this does 12 damage, let's see. Let's give this unit some more attack. I'm not playing take out life as a grief. I need more energy. I'm not playing take out life as a grief though. I'm gonna have more energy next turn when I eat these morsels, but I want more on play take out life, you know. So having frost on some of these cards would be important. But a lot of upgrades would be very important. The ability to retain. So I have a lot of energy this turn. I guess I can put it on this guy, give him a lot of life. Also, if I trigger it as if 12 times, does he get 12 damage shields? I need to find out, does he get 10 damage shields here? Oh my god. Hell yeah. Hell yes. That's cool. My girl's about to die, I need to keep her alive. I need to keep her alive. Let's give her some more, uh... Beautiful. Getting some free hits in the boss, nice. I need to heal my penumbra. I have the ability to heal my, my, my thing to full. If I heal her to full, how much does she stay alive? Well, this. Okay. So. She does 9 times 2, right? So. I want her to be able to take at least 2 hits. So if I do. Unleash the what? Okay, let's think. Let's think. Marshall Miner can take 1 hit. And then she, then she dies. If I do. Take over life. It's not good enough. But she does a lot of damage. She does 90 damage. But if this guy's full life, right? If he does a lot of damage as well. So maybe killing this guy to full is better. And then if she doesn't get any hit in, it's pretty bad. So I either have to heal this guy or I heal her. If I heal her, she takes two hits. And then she does 90 damage. If I heal him, he could take more than two hits. He could take. 
he could take like two cycles and then he does a lot more damage so letting her die is actually the best play unfortunately hmm. unless if I put a morsel in the front as well so if I put a morsel in the front it takes one hit then she has 21 she can still only take two hits after that she dies that anyways so she only she only can do one cycle of damage the fact that she can't do more cycle of damage is quite unfortunate but I think we have to do this I give this guy 10 life so he can take more hits and that's kind of unfortunate because he doesn't even need that damage okay if I give her strength in the back, she has to do more damage here. And if I give her Void Binding, she does a lot of damage right now. So, I think I do Razor Strip Edge. And I do Void Binding. She gets a lot of Rage. And then I do, um... I just do Forever Consumed. And the goal here is, once she gets to the top floor, she's gonna, she's gonna basically just die. Oh my god, 20 damage shields. Because she has Ember Drain 3, well, this is run out this, right? So, she's gonna die by the time this is over. I'm not gonna lose any energy, so I just gain damage. And we win. GG. I'm gonna give this guy some spikes and some damage. Make it even more OP. In fact, he doesn't take any damage because he has 20 damage shields. <laughs> That's how OP it is. Because all my Morsels come in with damage, they, do, they help a little bit as well. Beautiful. All right. Apply five age five. Apply multi strike. Whoa! We can give a unit multi strike. Nuts. Return consume more units to your hands or apply trample. Whoa! This is what I was talking about. This is a card applies trample to a unit. So if I put that trample on like my guy in the top row, if I put that on the guy in the top row, um. Well, then he can get all the backliners, right? So, I, last time I played this kind of run, I, I needed somebody to have trample on the top because it just didn't do enough damage because the, the front would just tank the hit, right? We can give our Penumbra multi-strike for sure. And applying multi-strike to Penumbra would be quite insane. The Ember Drain just means we're going to lose energy for the next turn. I, I think I'll go for the multi-strike here. So we want a more draw, we want... So now, that, since we're actually kind of low on energy though, right? If we get more draw, the dead weights are not as important. If we get more energy, we can... I think we need more draw here. We don't have a way to circumvent energy though, right? So normally we have, like, when you summon, you get energy, or when you play cards, you get energy, but here we don't have that. I wonder if we just want more energy, because we have, like, Cycle of Life, which is pretty expensive. We have Forever Consumed and other X-Cost cards. Although this, you don't really want to dump all your energy into that. I mean, you also get energy, though, from things like Shade Splitter. I'm kind of leaning towards card draw here. If I get Light of Seraph, the next guy is going to take 6 lives, but I can already put him in the Mind Jack floor, so... The Light of Seraph does help me do more of my floors, though, for sure. Because I'm about to upgrade my dude. Um, I'm gonna do quite a here. I'm gonna up my champion here. So we can do artifacts, upgrade my spells, restore health, or upgrade units, get gold, and go to another cavern. Well, upgrade, what do you just want to upgrade? I think I want to upgrade my spells for sure. Let's go do the artifact. 50% chance to remove all buff effects on an enemy unit when it enters your train. That's pretty good. Your pyro shards. I'm gonna do the cleansing water. That's really nice. Just remove buff on units. Get the healing. Let's so put some spells. So some spells want permafrost for sure. So for instance, like I want this to be able to like hold on to. Maybe not that one. Maybe like um, you can hold on to this whenever you need necessary. Or you can hold on to this, so you can try to trigger that on the morsel miner, which gives you the best value. Or you can hold on to this so you can get the full heal whenever you need it. Right? So there's a lot of things I want permafrost here. 
If you put it on furnace tap, that means you can hold on to it. Well, actually, if you're playing this on Penumbra, Penumbra is always going to be played first. So this is always going to be able to be played on Penumbra. Uh, permafrost is retained. So basically, it doesn't leave your hand. So you don't discard it until you play it. Make a spell cost cheaper. So it makes Cycle of Life a little bit cheaper. And let's make upgrade a magic spell. So this does an extra 10 damage. This does an extra 20 health. Um, I mean, I can, this upgrade forever consume could help the most. It's not that great. If anything, is like Sting or something. Something minor. Mine Collapse could help kill things and give me more energy back. So that it can be like an energy thing. I'm saving my goal for the rest. And Penumbra is getting even bigger, guys. You can do Architect, but now nah, we gotta get really big and beefy. Put him in the middle floor. 150 and 90. Oof. Now we give him multi strike. That's gonna be nuts, guys. A 150 attack with multi strike. It's gonna be crazy because he also has trample. I forgot my best friend came to our hometown to visit. Now she's uber mad. And try to fix that, man. Try to fix that. I wish you luck. Non bust enemy units get plus eight, and we get 300 coins for our shovel. The thing is, this has multi strike, so I'm giving it plus eight strength, and it's gonna have multi strike, so it's gonna be doing 15 times two. And then it gets more health if it kills. But my, my, my Penumbra is pretty beefy. He has how much life? 90. So this is gonna be 15 times two, and this is gonna be. Uh, 16 damage. Let's do it. Just because our phone number is so beefy. But yeah, the nuts is going to be adding multi strike to my guy. Hell yeah. Let's add more smoker to the top. Scaling going. Let's give this guy some more strength. Because now he's going to have even more strength. Because why not? And we can kill that guy for free because of the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, what's it called? Curse finds. Now, do I want to sacrifice this guy because I don't actually want him in my deck? I think so. I mean, he's like, oh, he's mad at me. Master, I feel really bad now. Wait, I'm sorry, dude. Fuck. <laughs> the fact that my morsels gain damage is actually really good. Like, I gotta say, Pentina remains for my morsel gaining damage is actually quite nice. I actually can't kill this guy, so what I can do is, uh, okay, I want my animus to stay alive, so what I'm going to do, put this on top because he wants to get the scaling, yeah? If I do, okay, this is tough because, hmm. I can kill this guy. And my animus can be over here doing some damage. But I also want to get that 100 gold. 100 gold is pretty important. So if I do sting, then I can kill both. I think that's worth it. So 100 gold. We put this guy on top, get the scaling going. Unfortunately, I can't put animus just yet because she would just die for free. So. Let me just do this. Now, I guess we can do shroud now and give this guy. Poor health, but I want to like try to save Shroud. Is it ever worth saving Shroud? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I think we just pass here. Yeah, we need to get one across the Shroud as well. Yep. I gave it to the heal instead, so that heal. All right, so they're doing a lot of damage here. Now, I could do Mind Collapse, keep this guy again. They're doing too much damage. I do have two Mind Collapses, though. So if I kill both these units, I can play an Animus here. I need to find my multi strike so I can kill these units. They're going to die when they get to the top, though. Um, okay, so let's try to see what we can do here. I need to do three damage here and four damage here, right? So... I can put Animus in the back here, actually. I can just put Animus in the back here. If I want to. I'll 
guess I could just do that, right? But then I can't do morsel stuff. I mean, adding enemies to the back could be nice. I could also put it here and just kill these things with mine collapse. It's tough. Because then I can, then if I put her on the bottom, I can start, like, buttering these things up. And I have two animuses as well, so... I'm gonna do this. I can move the Morsel Maker down here and start feeding my, my guy. Do I, so do I want to get Morsel Maker and start feeding my Penumbra? Or do I want to keep feeding Crispo Warden? What do you guys think? Because I could bring my guy down and feed my Penumbra to be beefy, beefy, beefy. Hmm. You feast up here and put animus on top. I mean, having animus on top would be quite nice, it's true. I, I can save an animus for the top. I mean, there's a world where I just also put more some echo down here as well. Is Penumbra going to be a better thing to scale with? I mean, he has more of a base health pool, but this guy gets damage shields. But this guy does 150 damage already. He already has, he's way ahead in stats already, you know? I think the Gorgon needs the, anime, the, the uh, Morsels more. I mean, yeah, he gets damage shield, sure. But this guy already is so ahead in stats. He has 158 and 90 health. So the effective health that damage shield is giving you is, is going to take a lot of damage shields to reach the effective health and damage that this guy's going to have. So if you just keep feeding Penumbra, his effective health and, da and damage is way above already. And if Penumbra is just really, really huge, I mean, I probably just went on this floor as it is, you know? It still makes morsels if I don't have room. I think that sounds kind of good. I want to try it. I, I just want to try it out. Wait, why is she? Why is she missing life? Why is she missing life? Why does she come in and damage? Oh, when they're guys. I, I, I want to try this concept though of uh, uh... She won't be able to stay alive longer though because these guys are just too insane. Yeah, she can never stay alive longer. It's just it's just a lot of scotch trying to keep her alive to be honest. I'm just like I don't have her number here though. I do want to give the plus four strike to my my multi strike, but I'm gonna give furnace tap to this guy, right? So he's gonna get multi strike. So how about we just do that? Say okay, whatever. She she goes and able to live. Can I keep her alive a little bit longer? Nah, this is 14 times two. It's way too much to block. So we're gonna give this guy multi strike. We're gonna give him sharpen, and we're gonna give cycle of life. So now this guy is 172 times two and 100 life. Now we're not gonna have any energy next turn. But that's okay, because the multi strike is worth it. I mean, he's really the company, he's the raid boss right now. I need to be able to heal him. And now my guy's out of damage shields, not yet, but just eventually. I need to get a full heal on my penumbra. Uh oh. Uh oh. My guy's not living, so how do I make him live? Ah, uh, because this does. They're doing a lot of damage. Oh no. Oh no, Ember Drain is kicking my ass. Oh no. Oh, we, we lost. Well, that's unfortunate. Fuck. Is there is there a way out of this?
I mean, adding eight to these guys ended up being really de detrimental, right? Because this would have been 12, 12. Yeah. Adding eight got me killed. I, 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 the thing is, Emory wasn't the problem. It was the fact that I added eight to all the units with multi strike. That was just really ambitious. I mean, adding Ember Dream plus adding eight was what caused this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can survive. I guess. I'm trying to think. If I didn't full heal animus, I would have had it. Yeah. This. If I didn't full heal animus like a dingus, I would have a hundred eight life right now. I wasted my full heal like a dingus. Well, for the sake of science and learning, because it's a new game, we will save scum. Because I'm learning. And we want to unlock and do more things, right? That's science. Let's get some water as well. Like, once we learn the game, I won't save scum, right? But I think save scum is okay early when you're learning the game now. Nah? Alright, we'll save scum. And the lesson here is don't waste your full hero that has permafrost on somebody who has only for 5 HP, right? That's just like, I guess that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Whoopsies. My bad. My B. But at least we can see, we can see that the Ember Drains obviously could be a big deal. But what's more important is like saving your heal. There's a book that gives, there's a book that gives you quick absolutely yep. The most major on top. Um, let's kill that guy. I have to kill this guy. He's gonna be mad at me, Master. Master, why why did you do that to me? Man, it's stormy, man. It's rainy weather. It's crazy. Hell won't save you now. Here's the warden on top. I mean, Animus, you, you can't, Animus just can't do anything. Like, I guess I could, like, could have done Animus there, but, yeah. She's just gonna exist. Do I want to shot check right now, or I want to save it? Uh, let's save it, but... I also don't really care about this unit that much, like, Grounds I don't really... I don't have Permafrost on Shard Spike, so I'm just gonna use it. Because then it's gonna be awkward to draw later on. If we do Feast now, we can do Animus and bring her down, right? It's probably a better strategy. Probably a better strategy. We can kill things like this. We can add some space so we can actually play something. But let's say we add space to like top floor. Maybe we can do, do some more stuff on top floor. Then turn. The, the, the book of quick is from Awoken. Awoken has uh, add quick. I used it in one of my runs. It's very nice. Alright, let's start scaling up my dude. Alright, so now we're going to get Ember Drain. But this time we have a full heal at our disposal, so... Big multi strike, cycle of life, and give him some more strength, or just give him some regen. Which one? Give him some strength. All right. So Emberton's gonna kick our ass temporarily. At least we have full heal at our disposal. So instead of doing what we did last time, which was a random ass animus in the bottom, I'm trying to keep that alive, let's just have a kill lane and play around that. Luckily, he's alive. We can see a quick trample multi check penumbra. Absolutely. This run is gonna see a it's gonna see it. I'm gonna make sure we see that. Let's go ahead and full heal now. And penumbra has been saved. Penumbra has been saved. Alright. Let's go. We could add 
Void binding, so it gives him damage shields and rage. So we're gonna lose energy next turn. But fuck it, right? Because we're trying to go for all in. The thing is, I want. <sighs> Void binding would be good if I had permafrost so I can put it on Animus during the time we're fighting. But the problem is. The problem is. I want to be able to heal my guy, and I'm drawing into not a heal. So if I'm not drawing into anything good, right, I'm not drawing into anything good here, right? The only thing that's good potentially is like mind collapse, so I can kill the guy in the back. That's the only thing that's potentially good. It may just be worth it to do void binding anyways. We're just not gonna have any of the energy next turn, but maybe that's fine. The damage load's worth it. Well, the thing is, this guy only has two attack, so because I have trample and this guy has spikes, how much spikes do I have? This guy only does 14 damage to me, so the void band is totally worth it. This guy only does th this, this first spikes kill that guy, so the guy only does two damage. Uh, it should be relatively free, and there you go, it's free. GG. Because the guy only has 2 damage, so once this guy attacks me, spikes kill him, and then it's just like 176 times 2, and 13 times 3 times two, uh, times 3, just pounding away. But he dies, boom, spikes, and then now I just go to town. Boom, boom. Gorgeous. And of course he gains strength when he gets revenge, right? But... It, he uh, couldn't do enough. But yeah, I got 300 gold. All right, we're rich. Add plus one pip to this floor. Sacrifice or damage trove. I think I'm going to skip, but I mean, I guess crucible extension is not bad. I'm just, the way I'm kind of building this run, though, it feels like I'm not going to be able to utilize crucible extension that well. My deck is also 32 cards. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip. Consume, add, apply four sykes, send another unit. I mean, getting a second to send would be useful so i can stack up the middle floor sooner so i'll take a second to send just because my strategy of overstacking is something that maybe i want to start a little bit sooner we can upgrade our units we can up get some power health and get some gold and we get a trinket shop this is the last floor so we can duplicate and upgrade our spells and also so what do you want to do would you rather upgrade units or upgrade spells and what would we want to duplicate maybe you want to duplicate furnace tap so if we do furnace tap we can upgrade our guy to have two multi-strike yeah does that work that way? If you do two furnace type, it does two multi strike. Is that does that sound crazy? Is that too much? I'm gonna have an Ember Drain for the rest of the game though. If I do that, Ember Drain is gonna destroy me. We can upgrade the full heal so we have two full heals, which might be more useful. Two full heals might be more useful, I think. I already wasted duplicate and restore, I know. Okay, this is the remove. Let's remember that. Let's remove these stewards. Let's upgrade some of our spells first. Give a unit holdover. Well, if I give my permafrost holdover, the heal holdover, then I always have the heal at my disposal. So I can give my, my heal holdover. Or, we could do it on something like Cycle of Life. So Cycle of Life, we can keep applying it, keep getting health. Well, no. Well, the thing is, Furnace is consumed, so you can never hold over because it gets rid of itself. Well, you'd want the upgrade to get rid of consume. But, um, I mean, either I, I have hold over and heal seems not that great because you want to hold on to heal when it's nice when, when it's like the best timing whereas hold over something like cycle makes sense because you want to play it and keep buffing right i mean you always have it right and then when you play it you have it again but i feel like having it again how much sense does that make so if you think about the boss for instance you play it against the boss you can only heal once before the boss and, then it's, and since it's relentless you can't play anything else 
But healing every turn is not that good. I mean, healing every turn could be good, but I don't know how good that actually is. We can put it on something like, for instance, this. So when you do Mind Collapse, you get free energy. Sure, that's a thing. I mean, let's take a cycle of life. So basically what you're doing is like, you keep applying health on our penumbra so he gets bigger and bigger. Hmm. You can do Space Prism so we can keep stacking up the... If you do Space Prism Holdover, you can keep playing and adding pips. Maybe that be, might be better. What do you think? If you do Space Prism, you can keep adding pips and then you can add more stuff to the floors. But I don't have that many things to add to the floors, to be honest. So that doesn't seem as good. I think Psychic of Life makes the most sense. Let's make something cost cheaper. So let's make uh, Morsel Maker. Let's make Destroying the Tree, I suppose. Let's do this. The reason why I'm doing this, because if I'm Ember Drained, I can still play my heal, even if I'm Ember Drained. And to me, that's pretty useful. What's up, Bastari? How you doing, buddy? I don't know if I want to re-roll because I have a Merchant Trinkets. Let's, let's take the Merchant Trinkets first. Let's take a look at what the Merchant Trinket has first. More so units gain a damage though. That's pretty good. When you summon the second unit during a turn, you gain three energy. That's pretty good as well. Um... So we've been struggling with energy sometimes, right? I feel like Hell's Banner is pretty good. And let's go ahead and maybe rework some spells here. Give us spell Permafrost. It's beautiful. So we want to give Permafrost on either Furnace Tap so we can play it, right? Or we're probably just playing Permafrost as soon as we see it, yeah? We're just going to take the Ember Drain and take the Permafrost as soon as we see it. So we want Permafrost and maybe something like the Shroud Spike. The problem is Shroud Spike was supposed to be using a morsel miner, but I my, my deck has kind of come to like stack the penumbra. That's what it's become. It's become stack the penumbra. And uh, morsel miner doesn't even get played sometimes. So shroud is no longer as good as it perhaps once was. But still nice to have the ability to have sh shroud spike whenever we want it, I guess. Or I'm down with it. I mean, there's been enough times where I've like, I wish the card was upgraded. Let's make more Minor cheaper. And let's make a card. Like, I don't need two, two of these. I don't need two Storm Retreats. I only want to do it like once. So let's upgrade that. And let's get out of here, boys. Let's go for the final boss. Can we do it? Friendly units enter with sap three. Yikes. Let's go use the bathroom. We'll be right back. All right, final boss, guys. I enter with sap three. But I can counteract sap three a little bit with my penitent remains, which is plus four strength for everything, for every blight. Okay. I'll enjoy dismantling your train. Yeah, so sap is negative six, um, but it decreases every turn. So let's go ahead and get our penumbra out. Okay, let's get Psycho Life on him right away. And here's the thing, we can do Animus and Descend right now. So we have a couple of things we could do. We could do Animus and Descend right now, or we can do Psycho of Life and start scaling. And it's important to start scaling because it's first turn of the boss fight. And if I can manage to cycle of life consistently, this guy becomes really huge. So I don't know what I want to do. We do have two, two restoring retreats. That's the thing. We do have two restoring retreats. It's going to take a long time for me to draw back into cycle of life. I have 26 cards in my deck. It's going to be a long time until I see cycle of life again. And I do have two restoring retreats. So I think what we do is this, guys. I think we do that, and I think we cycle left now, and do this, because we can play Hell's Banner, right, Hell's Banner exists, do I want that guy to, okay, what if I just leave her up top though, or do I want to descend her now,
Sharp scaling. He can put her up top. We also want that Morsel Maker, right? So let's put Morsel Maker. We can start scaling her up. Now we have Cycle of Life because of Hell's Banner, which is great. We could, uh, stack up the top lane a little bit more. We, we can stack up this Morsel Maker, why not? I could have put that guy in front and he takes no damage because of damage shield. And this is great. We have both our frost already, both our heals. So even if we do Ember Drain, we have our heals at our disposal. So worst case scenario, once we do our Ember Drain, we can heal up our Penumbra so he doesn't die. We have two outs, right? We have two heals. Ah, she did the sap, but that's okay. Keep doing Cycle of Life. Of course I want to do Crucible Warden, so I need to add space. So that we're going to do is Feast. And we're going to put Crucible Warden because he's the one on top, yeah? So now he's going to start scaling up. And, uh, might as well kill some of these dudes, right? Let's kill this dude. I'm gonna do Razor Sharp Edge, because Penumbra's gonna be the one that has the multi strike, yeah? So let's give him that. And let's add a little morsel right here, keep scaling up. Might as well save some life as well. And beautiful, guys. If you notice, we got an Animus and a Crucible Warden scaling here, then we have. Penumbra is looking great. We're all going to give um, Penumbra multi strike. That's exactly what we're going to do. And it makes us lose a lot of energy, but we have our heals are, are free. So, worst case scenario, we can heal for free. So, you can't go negative energy. Cycle of Life. And uh, let's do this. Let's do that. I don't want those in my deck anymore. Apply some regen. Regen. Shake Spitter. And, uh, oh, now you just exist. Like, fuck, I should not play that. Now you just exist. Get out of here. Now they're overstacking, which is beautiful. And if I want, I can move the Morsel Maker down for Penumbra. Well, not the Sap, anything but the Sap. Now let's make sure we do a cycle of life. Now we can kill this thing in the back. Save some life. We can also kill this thing in the front. And that's pretty good too, huh? So if we can descend something, so we can descend more Maker on the bottom. And we can start scaling up Penumbra even more. Do we want to do that? Do we want to scale up uh, Penumbra with the Morsel Maker? Or do we want to keep this Crucible Ward and do this thing? I mean, I figured if, like, if we just scale up Penumbra on the bottom with Morsel Maker, they're never getting past this floor. Kill him, right? Nah, it skills the guy in the front. The guy in the front does the eating. Do 29 damage to the bus. Keep sapping me. Yikes. The sap destroys the multi attacker. Alright, guys, we found our furnace tap. So we have multi attack. You ready? Let's go. Boom. Ember Drain is going to be a thing. We got our Cycle of Life. It means we're going to be not be able to do Cycle of Life as much anymore, unfortunately. I should have added Permafrost of Void Binding. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, I guess I could do Shot Spike now, right? I'm gonna use the heal before I redraw my deck. I 
Oh. So, I'm gonna use one heal right now. Oh, we actually have enough to actually still play. That's funny. I can descend if I wanted to, but... If the girl goes to the middle, she's gonna take a big ass hit. The banner is amazing, guys. The banner, when it summons two morsels, I just realized... Because the banner, I'm summoning two morsels... Wait, is that actually giving me energy? Because it's not showing that it's procking. I'm getting energy, but I don't know why. I'm, I'm assuming it's because of the morsels, but it's not procking. It's not showing it. So that could be a bug. Maybe we can put dev feedback. Put dev feedback saying, I'm getting energy when I have Ember Drain. But Hell's Banner is not showing the tooltip that I summoned to. So maybe that's, I think it's a bug. So it's not showing that I set summoned two units. But I'm getting energy as if I did. Nah, because it's only once per turn. It's only once per turn. So I, I I wish I could show you if uh so when I um oh I had free energy here it's okay though so when I summon two units it, it stays at two out of two for the rest of the, the turn normally no no approximately the end of turn approximately the end of turn. Ah, interesting. It carries over. Wait, this is what I'm. This is, oh, we won. Oh, wait, it's game over. Wait. It's over already. Fuck. Hey, I want to do more. Wait, are we just having fun? Turns out it works, guys. Turns out a big beefy penumbra can do it. We made some mistakes that run. We we'll gotta we'll play better on the next one. That was fun. I feel like this game could use Act 4. Yeah, it could use Act 4, absolutely. But let's let's get to Covenant 25 first, which is the max uh, covenant, or like ascension mode or whatever, and let's see how um let's see how hard it is, right?